what sets Noisily apart is the variation of music. Combine that with Function One audio and you're looking at you know, the best sonic experience you can possibly imagine. I think that bringing different groups and subcultures together is what makes life interesting. I think electronic music in the woods is uh, what this country needs. What it comes down to really is that um, all the stuff which we get in Noisily, all the, all the big lasers and the flamethrowers and the cool lighting, it's basically just stuff that which we want to do. For our decor, we have the infamous Liquid Fairies. This team is one of the best in the world for decor. It's going to look phenomenal. In terms of video, we have my old friends and video geeks, Video Illusions, doing a custom bespoke LED installation. To put it into perspective, Video Illusions are responsible for the stadium and stage shows for people like Pendulum, Chase and Status, Fatboy Slim. The list goes on. It's top notch and world class. It's going to be proper. From conceptualising the ideas to actually putting them into practice, um, it's something that we're involved in every single step of the way and I think it really, really shows in the togetherness of the festival. The team has an eclectic taste in music and this really shines through in the curation of the lineup. At the Treehouse stage we've got disco legend Greg Wilson with totally enormous extinct dinosaurs and panda in support. We've got Max Cooper on the main stage with Scottish techno legend Slam. Fax and Symphonics doing Western European progressive and on the top of the hill you can expect funk, soul and hip hop. It's, it's our one time of the year just to like have an awesome party which we'd want to go to. The people putting on this event are punters as well and we are dance music fans so we know what we want to see. We're all on board with all of the decision making, the fact that everything gets passed through through the board, the fact that it's a small group of people, we don't want the festival to grow too quickly, you know, it's, it's going organically. Back in 2004 when Glade Festival started, the Origin stage was a great influence on myself and I always wanted to be sort of part of an event which had an outdoor psychedelic stage in the UK. It makes me very proud to see a liquid stage at Noisley Festival. The liquid story started about halfway through my photography degree in Kent, which is where I met my now business partner and good friend Ross. What manifests in the actual party and what people experience, it generally comes down to the core intention of the promoters. What you can all expect from the liquid stage at this year's Noisley and for the years to come is a world-class production and lineup. We can have dance music playing at dawn uh, when the sun rises, which to be honest has never really been done properly with a loud volume in this country. We'll be using for the sound uh, Jody Opus, who in, in mine and all of our opinion, by far the best engineer of Opus Audio. There'll be 25K of it pumping till the early hours, 6 a.m. license, you can't ask for more. I think the future of Noisley is, um, is really just to keep it at a similar sort of size, a medium size event. And I'd like to see us continue to specialise in the certain genres that we are currently working in and just expand it and make it better for everyone, including you know, more awesome production elements and just keep it the way it is really. Um, I think it's moving in the right direction. <laughs>